Welcome back to AM Northwest. Summer produce is so good. Wouldn't it be great if it could last all year? Well, maybe it can. Here with Tasty Ways to Preserve the Best of Summer's Bounty, we welcome back produce expert Josh Osberg. Good to see you again, you Josh. You too, Helen. Thank you. Look at this incredible display. Th this is, oh, I, wow. Could, I, can, I could hide behind the melons yeah. here. Can I share a funny story with yeah, you? Yeah, sure. So this morning, we're in bed. My son comes into bed with us, and Jessica, my wife, teaches him Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Oh, because we've got peppers. We've got we're talking peppers. About peppers. Right. And like, only on like the fourth try, he got it perfectly. Oh, he's going to be saying it all day. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. going to be going to third grade and, you know, just be like, <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. <laughs> you forget about that. That was a funny little phrase to get your. Yeah, I like that phrase. That's funny. Nice little oh, tongue cute. twister. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Um, and he's loving the melons right now. Oh, My yeah. My son cannot stop eating all of these amazing melons, which I this. am going to. We cut up some watermelon yeah. here. I hope you I'll try, one. try a little bit. So, this is a you seeded watermelon. A seeded watermelon, but usually think of watermelons as summer, but you say, hang, grab them now. This is the, their time. So all the melons are ripe right now, and they're probably going to be done after this cold snap. Um, they're cracking out on the field too, so we oh. want to try to bring them in quickly as, as much as possible. These are so good. It's They're amazing. Mm -hmm. So we're getting these from one of our local farms down near Hubbard, and they're, they just do an oh, amazing job. Yum. Um, they're yeah, so some, don't forget about melons now. Yeah, so, it, and if you want to preserve them, I mean, like, eat them, but if you want to preserve them, the best way to do that is uh, car carve them out, stick right. them in a bowl with some lemon juice, some mint, um, and some juice. sugar. Okay. Throw it in the blender, uh, or if you have an immersion blender, I would use that, and make popsicles. And then you have popsicles, Great. watermelon popsicles, all year long. Great idea. Yeah. it's it, Enjoy them now, though, while you can. And we're getting a whole bunch of different melons. Not just the cantaloupe and honeydew, but we're getting some one called Galea. There's a French cantaloupe variety called Sharon Tay right here, which is a big, musky, ar aromatic melon. Oh. So incredible. So when you see them at the farmer's market, yeah. and that's where you're really going to find them, yeah. get them now, enjoy them while you can. Okay. And up next, uh, and then same, same for tomatoes. Yeah, like there's tomatoes. Sti right. There's still a lot of great heirloom oh, tomatoes available tomatoes. and cherry tomatoes, but this is really the, the canning season. So okay. what I encourage folks to do is is look for your Romas or your San Marzanos. There's one in particular that my store specializes in that we've been working with a farm that's no longer existent. They had been they had found this tomato when they were traveling in Piedmont, Italy. Wow. They brought it back and they've been saving the seed for years and trying to create the perfect tomato. It's called the Ostiana. Ostiana. And it's this kind of funny looking one uh, next to the Romas there. Oh, this one right here? Yeah, that one right there. Okay. It's kind of bumpy. It's, I mean, it's gorgeous and kind of ugly at the same time. The shape time. is almost a pear. Exactly. In some cases, yeah. So these are a great roasting tomato. And what I suggest doing oh. with these okay. is, sorry, I'm leaving here. So nope. um, you want to get your, get your roasting pan. Sure. Cut them in half, like, like so. Um, and then you're going to take the top off. Right. Put them face up. up like that and put them in, you can either do it on the grill, you can put them in the oven, uh, 425 for about an hour or so. Okay. We like to do them in the oven, we cut up an onion and throw it in there as well, a little bit of basil, and you can use whatever herb you like, sure. if you want a garlic or if you just want it plain, that's a good way to do it too. And then after an hour, Take the scoop, them, uh, take them out. Right. Uh, tear, take the the skin off. Okay. And then just put them either in plastic bags, in your freezer, or if you want, use that blender again. You can use that blender, make them into a sauce, make and then sauce. You, and then you have sauce all winter oh, long. Oh, great idea. We have a whole freezer full of yeah. just tomato sauce that we've used yeah. these to save. Oh, great idea. Okay, yeah. love that. And you'll find these at our store. Okay. I'm not sure you're going to find them anywhere else except maybe the farmer's market. It's the Ostiana. Okay. Um, peppers. Peppers. It's Peter Piper. Peter Piper. And yep. we've got all kinds here. My favorite are these sweet Jimmy Nardella peppers. They're kind of ugly mm -hmm. and beautiful, again, you know, at the same time. Right. Um, they're a thin-walled pepper, so they're not as great for roasting, but they're really great for fresh eating. I think we did this last yeah. year, too, and you were like, oh, is that hot? And it was and, really good. And it was, they're super sweet. Super sweet. But we mm -hmm. do have some hot peppers here, including the Anaheim, a Fresno, a Poblano, 
and you can roast all of these, any of these bell peppers. We've got this lovely purple bell pepper. Yeah, that's over really here. pretty. I'd never seen that before. I know, yeah. And and they're all coming to us from uh, local farms here right now. The bounty is on. Um, get these in on your grill, stove, roast them, uh, put them in this silver bowl here. Uh -huh. Metal bowl? Yeah, or, yeah. Uh, cover them up with plastic, let the skins fall off peel them off and then stick them in plastic and you've got them throughout the year. Great idea. Really okay. quickly, I know we don't have a whole lot of time, but corn is on too. Oh. Easy to freeze this, just take a knife, shuck it off, right. stick it in the freezer, you're good. Or put it in a soup with like, you know, some other, some beans, yeah. some, you can use the tomatoes, you can make a succotash, anything that you want. But, you know, and you can preserve the beans of course too. Yeah. Pickled beans. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. Pretty easy there. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. All good, great ideas. Thank Josh, you. Josh, yes. thank you very much. And how do you say it again? Peter Piper picked a... Uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. There you go. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks we'll so be much. right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away. Thank you.